First up is Stephanie. Um, yeah, I mean, you kept it pretty simple and clean. I think the the ripple here probably does work better, although I did like the rain falling effect. I thought that was helpful, so. Um, yeah, and you've got the burn in here, and so lines appearing one at a time. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple and clean. I think you might have you know, done a little bit more with some movement and, and definitely want to add a fade out at the end. Um, uh, but, but it is clean now and uh, yeah, works. Next up is Michael. And so a lot of good improvements here. Um, I think the way the text animates on is interesting for both the logo and this title. And I think, you know, you sort of solved a good creative problem where what I talked about the last time was where the cartoon drawing didn't match the photo background, but by kind of taking the photo background and sort of cartoonizing it, it seemed to solve that pretty well because this looks a little bit more like a you know, a seamless image that way. Uh, whereas if it was a photo background, I would say it's less so. So I think that was a good uh, creative solution. I think, you know, you do that sort of uh, wiggle thing to fade it on and I think that's all right but I think I might have just gone for a simple fade out at the end um, rather than an additional wiggle but it's it doesn't you know not, not a big deal it's all look good looks pretty good clean work next up is Morgan This looks good. I think the fire you chose is uh, definitely looks more like fire now. I think that we're losing the silhouette of the dragon a little bit because of a lot of the gaps in there. So one thing you can do sometimes is like double up the fire, you know, like duplicate it, offset it in time, you know, scale it a little differently, maybe, maybe you know, uh, decrease the brightness or make some other adjustments so it, you know, doesn't look like just one, you know, duplicate of itself, but, uh, and then, then maybe it would fill in some more of these areas because with so much of them being black, I think we lose the dragon silhouette and I think you need to fill in that background a little more. So yeah, I would probably duplicate that layer, you know, scale it up, blur it, and decrease the brightness and then kind of you'd still have that movement but you'd kind of fill in the background a little bit more um, and this worked out great this looks really good I think it was good before too but this was really nice I like that how that turned out and the smoke is just right so that looks good yeah nice work next up is Tess <laughs> some improvements here. One thing that occurred to me is that, uh, you know, you have the gun kicking back for that first shot, uh, but not for the subsequent shots. 
and then might you know do it one time more each for each of those subsequent shots. I think this movement's good, but I think I would do it easy easy on the keyframe so it's the stop isn't so abrupt there. Um, that fade up's good. That works well. Again, maybe an easy ease there. I think the the funny thing about this is she appears to be blowing on uh, this part of the gun, but you'd want her to be blowing on the tip more because um, that just the aim looks wrong. So maybe just kind of either moving her up some or moving the gun and the hand down some or maybe a combination of the two. And I think this smoke... Um, I think it's a good smoke. I think it's way too big. I think you need to scale it down a lot. Um, I think I can see that you did the mask there and that could work, but it needs to be way scaled down. So um, it's just much too big. But it's a good smoke, but I think it's just too big for the shot. So yeah, um, yeah really great illustrations. I think the illustrations are what really uh, makes this thing quite nice and good motion too. Next up is Jasmine. Yeah, good logo. I'd be interested in seeing, you know, if you did a little animation of those waves moving, it could be cool, but it's a strong logo. I think the, the movement of this across is improved, but I think you got to check your, um, I'm trying to catch a good frame, example frame of this. There's one. You've got to check your uh, out export settings and After Effects because it looks like you have inner lacing turned on and you need that turned off and you want progressive turned on because that's where you get those lines is from inner lacing, which is, I, I mean, they should, nobody there's no reason for that anymore i don't know why they even have i mean it should be some like buried option at this point because when do you need interlace these days it seems like a relic of the past so i don't know but um yeah that would look cleaner if you did that and you know i thought before that you have the blood dripping down at different rates and there was more different sizes and now they all seem to move down exactly the same which is actually feels a little bit like a step backward like I actually think you had it better in an earlier version because I think that that yeah you want the, you want them moving down at different speeds um, and and then have them scale differently because right now well maybe they're scaled a little bit differently I guess they are but I think maybe you could go further with it. Yeah, they are scaled differently, but I think maybe you can go further with it because it's they're pretty similar in size. Um, yeah, and then change the speeds, I think, was also really helping differentiate those. A little weird that the cross is behind the blood. I kind of imagine across the swinging, you know, in front of this backdrop, and those are like dripping down some kind of wall. So that's a little bit odd. I would have changed the later orders on that. Um, yeah, I and mean, that's nice and clean. That looks good. So, yeah, good work. Next up is Jonathan. Hmm. Not sure why having playback issues. Might try a different play. Hey, let's try that again. All right. Um, yeah, definitely some improvements here. I think. Uh, yeah, it's good that you've got like a photo image of a bomb, a bomb and that holds up well in a close-up. So that's good. I think these sparks are a little, yeah, a little tough. I feel like it'd be nice if they were a bit brighter and more believably spark-like. Um, they look very kind of simple graphic. And then the explosion is good. I think it was a good choice of explosion, but I think what's a little odd is that 
the explosion seems to originate up here, whereas the bomb ended up there. So I would expect to kind of move the center of that over to where the bomb is instead of having it start up so high. And I can kind of imagine you are aiming to have it fill up the screen and that's how you made that decision. But I would still say, you know, if anything, you could you could start it there and then it could translate a little bit while it's expanding to still fill up the screen if that was that decision. Um, I think this is better. I think what would be stronger here is um, if each letter fell down separately um, rather than as one big group and then you know maybe a drop shadow. I know I'm saying oh don't do drop shadow but that's more like a graphic design thing but if it's supposed to be casting a shadow on the surface behind it you know I think that's a reasonable use for a shadow so yeah but if they like you know the r fell this way and the l fell that way and e, you know if they each fell differently it would be a lot stronger than one big thing and uh yeah i think this is all right i just don't have a clear sense of the you know justification justification of it flying in below like what that's expressing you know it might have been interesting to like cut out these mesas and have it kind of come up from behind them or something using the image a little bit more but uh yeah good good work definitely improved next up is Shanisa It's a good choice of music, and I think the images go well with the uh, timing of the music and the movement kind of matches the feel of that. So I think there was a good sensitivity to those kinds of things that, you know, you just chose a strong image for the background, the font works well. I mean, it's, it's, and I think the transition of that illustration coming in works well too. So yeah, I think it's good clean work. I don't know that there's any major things I would change on this. Um, I mean, you didn't go nuts with the effects, but that at the same time, you don't want it to be overwrought. So I think that worked out. Next up is Rand. Definitely some improvements here, and it is a complex piece with a lot of, you know, different elements going on. I think you did manage to, you know, blur out the foreground, and I think that worked out. Um, I think that this font is pretty busy, especially for the size it is, and I think, you know, where some of it's on dark and some of it's on light, um, it just makes it tough to stand up from the background, so might be a case of if you had kind of built the clouds differently by choosing either I guess because this is on the black grass what I might have done is gone for this very dark cloud bank here to fill up all of the area behind the text so that it all kind of is easy to read together rather than having some on the bright and some on the dark you could kind of you know you could make this lighter color and then have it against the dark background and it would read well. Um, so, and this is definitely improved. You have get rid of some of those transparency problems. I think it's kind of weird how the sun is oval shaped. I guess maybe that's sometimes distortion you see when sunset, but usually it's a little bit more spherical than that. And I, I still think this mist isn't really working. I'm not really buying that. I think the clouds are better because you had them, I think, moving against each other. So you could have them moving a little bit still, but. Uh, this was a little odd where this close-up of the text starts to show up here and it holds and then moves. And I would say that, you know, have it fit in as it's already moving because you're looking at that for a moment and you're like, what is this, a building for me here? Like, I don't know what that is, so I might not have had that hold in that close-up there because it looks a little odd. But I think the animation you did in the text is interesting. Um, yeah, and I think maybe finishing the title a little sooner because we don't really, you know, by the time that forms, 
you're immediately already fading down and you usually want you know three solid seconds of that being up on the screen without fading down so um yeah that could improve and one way like if you're having this weird thing where different things are fading on top of other things when you do the transparency what you can do is just do like a black solid on top of everything and animate the opacity of that so it just goes to black rather than things you know disappearing you know like see-through signs and stuff like that at the end next up is Santiago Yeah, this one's really improved a lot. I mean, you clearly put some time into the animation of the various objects. Uh, I like this uh, effect here of this sort of debris or confetti or whatever it is coming out of the gun. I think one thing is that this Harvey was here text uh, does not stay on the screen long enough. I think you need to hold that a little longer. Maybe by speeding up some of this stuff because it is a little slow. I mean, we're we're, you know, we fade up for over a second, it looks like, you know, that comes in quickly, and that stops well, so that's good, but I think that animation there, of that gun shrinking back down could be sped up, so between the fade in speeding up and that gun shrinking down speeding up, you could buy yourself some more time to hold um, this text on the screen longer, because it goes away very fast, but really good animation where that way that thing extends out and sucks back in. That wasn't as a bit problematic because it's just one word presents, so it didn't really bother me as much. Um, and then, yeah, a fade out at the end would be good. So yeah, this came out uh, nicely, yeah, really good improved animation. Next up is Jackie. So yeah, I think uh, really good improvements on this one. I'm looking for the motion blur on here. Yeah, it looks like you got that, so that's really good. And I think you you, you clearly put some effort into matching that, um, which is good. And I think the kind of aged film effects add some more life to this as well. Give it really uh, makes it feel like old footage. You know, takes and you know between the just the. The material itself and the the treatment you've done that goes together well. I feel like this one. There's something that feels like. It's maybe not. I don't know. I guess it's pretty good. Somehow when it's playing forward, like here, see how blurry that is, and it seems like it's sliding off a bit. I'm sure this was not easy to do. That looks a little bit like there's a little slip in there, but it, anyways, it's better than it was before, and it's no easy task. It came out well. I think this one's really good. I think it's very original. It's very creative. Um, uh, it's great. It's great work. And it clearly took some time and effort to get that movement and timing just right.